Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India So welcome you again so we are going to continue the same autoimmunity. So, in last lecture we discussed about Graves disease and myasthenia gravis right how the uh, antibody and um, react with the receptor and uh, cause the disease and their problem. It is very si simple I mean they just block the normal activity either by overacting or just destroying the total function in those case. Okay. So, autoimmunity also uh, today's topic we are continue few more disease and few more symptoms what happened and definitely this is also I should uh, acknowledge this um, book from where the slides are or the photographs or the figures are taken. So, this uh, Graves disease, myasthenia, Graves, insulin resistance, diabetes because the antibody is against the insulin receptor because what, what can happen if it blocks insulin receptor that means antagonist that means insulin will not work. So, it will be hyperglycemia that means blood glucose um, will be very high there is no insulin you know insulin controls the blood sugar. Similarly, if it is agonist that means if any antibody binds to insulin receptor in such a way it continuously produce insulin okay, as if uh, the positive way that is why the agonist is okay. and if this is the case. So, what will happen if this is agonist insulin receptor will continuously produce um, insulin as a result blood glucose will be very very low and that is why hypoglycemia will happen. So, this is this is like receptor bound IgE receptor agonist. So, this this will cause a each rash like what you will see Ig receptor agonist means it will produce hypersensitivity kind of reaction uh, continuous. So, these are the different example we just discuss Graves disease and myasthenia gravis like how it works and this is some more. Okay. Antibody against extracellular antigen also can cause inflammatory injury what because many time what happen the cell is dying and macrophage and dendritic cells are eating them because to clean them. So, while their cell is die by necrosis or by apoptosis there is always a possibility that single standard RNA or double standard DNA is released that we discussed before right in the very um, the first lecture of autoimmunity. This can internalized by the dendritic cell and there is a particular um, uh, type of dendritic cells which we discussed during um, T cell maturation. Uh, or T cell mediated immunity okay, plasma cytoid uh, dendritic cells and these can internalize and can be activated and can cause inflammatory response. Similarly, these monocytes are the dendritic cells after it eating that they can stimulate in interferon and can release the BAF that is B cell activating factor which in turn can this is normally is normally no, not happen I mean this is only when it happens then the inflammation or the autoimmune uh, induced uh, inflammation is going to happen. So, this is that antibody against extracellular antigen okay, auto antibody against extracellular antigen it can cause this problem. Okay. This will bind and which will be internalized in turn by opsonization or that receptor mediated opsonization. T cell specific for self antigen also can cause problem if the T cell and that we uh, uh, don't di uh, discuss so far yet if the T cell the cytotoxic T cell is activated against any cell receptor protein what will happen there are many proteins around the cell right. So, um, there are uh, many proteins around the cell. So, if this is the cell if this is the cell there are many proteins ok. So, suppose this is the different proteins. So, any one of the protein 
how, how, how it looks actually. Okay? So, this is this is different proteins in the surface and this is uh, any, any cell. Okay? If what will happen if any cytotoxic T cell, cytotoxic T cell can recognize it. Normally, cytotoxic T cell recognize the foreign antigen, viral antigen or um, the tumor cell, but there are many proteins. If this cell protein, normally they do not interact, but if they interact, what is going to happen? See, you this is again I am coming back to insulin. Insulin, anyway, insulin is one of my very favorite protein, which I can use for explaining many things. Okay, not only autoimmune disease, the gene expression, regulation. May everything which is a wonderful uh, protein that way. Okay, it's very important. You can understand now. So in pancreas, what happened? In pancreas, there are alpha cell, there are beta cell, and there are delta cells. Okay, alpha cell is produced glucagon, beta cell is insulin, delta cell is somatostatin. All are hormones. Suppose there are cytotoxic T cell which can recognize some of the surface protein of beta cell, which is again presented by MSC1. Okay. There are many other proteins presented by MSC1 both in alpha cell and delta cell, but it is recognizing only beta cell protein. What will happen? It will bind to beta cell, gives the signal to die apoptosis because it will not realize whether it is a beta cell important for insulin production or it is viral infected cell. As, so, as soon as this interaction happens, it knows I have to kill it. It will kill. As a result, the whole pancreas will not have any beta cell. So, what is the ultimate um, fate? Ultimate fate is no beta cell means that individual will not produce any insulin. So, severe diabetes, but in this case one advantage is there in this kind of immunity is one autoimmune disease is one advantage. We can supply auto I mean uh, insulin from outside, okay. we can have insulin injection, but if there is antibody against insulin what is going to be problem, because antibody against insulin means it will just neutralize. So, then as soon as you inject the insulin antibody will neutralize it. So, there will be no point of applying insulin from outside also, but in this case body is not producing insulin because beta cell is not there, otherwise all other functions are normal. Okay. So, that externally we have to regulate the concentration of insulin, but at least better than antibody generated autoimmunity, and, but this is also a very severe disease. Another autoimmune case is T cell specific for self antigen which can cause direct tissue injury okay. and what happened? Suppose normally there are some cases, okay. suppose blood brain barrier. So, if this is the brain tissue, okay, this is the brain tissue and this is the blood vessels. Normally, this neutrophil, um, macrophage, T cell they cannot enter because this is so tight, right. but if by any chance if any injury happen or any how this T cell, uh, neutrophil all these things can get in through this what will happen that T cell specific I mean they never saw this brain cells or brain protein before okay. and they they have I mean in brain for protection of immune system normally they are immunologically privileged, but they have some protection this microglial cell is going to be there it is like dendritic cells and they are going to present this thing to T cell and T cell is um, going to be activated and antibody will be generated because T cell and B cell interact and antibody will be generated that antibody will kill all the myelin sheath of the nerve present in the brain. So, what will happen if the myelin sheath of the nerve is not there the nerve impulse transmission will be defected. So, as a result what will happen brain will not work properly motor nerve will not work properly that is one case. Another case similar thing can happen in the synovial fluid portion that means, in the joint normally immune part is not there. If any damage happen in any joint what happen the synovial membrane will be damaged and synovial membrane is damaged means result is I am not going all this detail, 
the similar I mean normally it is not happening if this breakage happen if T cell can enter into that region they are not supposed to they start uh, doing all this MMPs metal uh, matrix metalloprotease which will start uh, degrading and as a result what will happen different and it will create problem with the osteoblast which form the bone and there will be result will be joint destruction. Okay, so, all the joint will be very weak and um, uh, joint means elbow, knee everywhere there will be a problem. So, this also kind of uh, this kind of uh, autoimmune disease also possible, but this is also again this is accidental injury uh, tissue injury is very much important. Small injury I mean many times we have a very small injury in knee can start this kind of infection. It is uh, I mean it looks very simple and normal just a simple heat, but if injury happen inside autoimmune um, disease may be activated. Okay. Now, so this is this is part like few example of autoimmunity. I hope you have an idea like what autoimmunity is. Again I am just summarizing very quickly yes. I need to discuss about the third point the genetic and environmental basis of autoimmunity whether it is there or not, but before that autoimmunity depends on multiple factors. it may be B cell it may be T cell and also antibody right. It may be automatically generated or the fault of immune system or it may accidentally happened because something was not exposed before, but some accident or some injury make them exposed to immune system. So, immune system was not ready for that. So, they never know that this kind of protein will be there as our own. Okay. Even sometimes some relative if you suppose some relative is very close relative, but you never saw because you are because from your childhood suddenly come to your house and you after opening the door you will ask definitely who are you. Right. So, that kind of thing after, but if nobody is there suppose nobody is there in home to tell okay, that anybody knew that person you will see that you do not know. So, even if your own relative you will not know because you never seen. Same way many proteins are there inside the cell the immune system never know as cell. So, they will I mean as soon as if something happen they come out nobody will be there to tell them that this is mine and immune system will work for uh, against them and disease will happen. There are few example I gave there are many example lists are shown and given anybody is interested go detail and there are a lot of information in the net and uh, any other book basic immunology book you may not get a lot of information about the disease and their um, symptoms and the remedy, but just to get an idea I gave few example of different type. Now, I am going to talk about genetic and environmental basis is there anything there or not. So, first point is telling autoimmune disease have a strong genetic component definitely it is there. What are those I mean this is one very simple experiment. So, just to see whether this is uh, autoimmune disease is has there any sex specificity like whether it is more prone to female or more prone to male what how can I figure it out. So, there is any uh, one very uh, simple experiment was done there is a nod mass N O D N O D stands for non obese diabetic because in mouse model mouse is used for many other many diseases. So, in mouse there are model obese mouse model okay. so that you can and you can induce obesity you can induce diabetes. So, there are these mice is non obese diabetes that means you can induce the diabetes by using a specific uh, chemicals. So, mouse will is normally normal, but you can induce them, but they will not be obese. Okay. So, they did the experiment it was found in non obese mice when you induce the um, diabetes the rate of induction or uh, I mean cases of diabetes is much more in female than male. So, this is an indication that means genetic variability or the sex variability is definitely responsible and it is not like one or two mice it was a number of mice was tested 
and this is the average like it goes very high and it is there and the severity or the incidence is also much more. So, it takes more I mean women are more prone. So, within less time maybe 13, 14 days it start showing the symptoms of diabetes for men it is taking longer time and the number is also less. So, that means sex differences has some role in autoimmune disease may not be in all the cases, but at least in diabetes it is there. Genomic based approach are providing new insight into you know genetic basis of the autoimmunity because before before the human genome project is discovered we did not know what is what okay we have very little information so this is a patient and we don't know what gene what but now we we have huge data a lot of information may not be too much information for autoimmune disease because person with autoimmune disease sequence should be in your hand to analyze it so there are many I mean every day new lot of new information is coming about the human genome, more human genome is sequenced and we are knowing we have to I mean in this case we have to just select the genome sequence of or human genome sequence of that individual who has a particular disease and history is known okay. and that information gives us lot of information and this is it is showing that what are the gene responsible for different disease. Okay. So, if you see I mean you do not have to uh, again you just listen what I am telling uh, I mean there are a lot of names it is not possible to remember and that is also not important to understand what is the basis of genetics. What is found there is a multiple genes you see all of them are either transcription factors like STAT4 or cytokines like TNF alpha tumor necrosis factor or interferon gamma IL 23 R 2 7 2 R IL 3. So, these gene okay, all are cytokines so, over expression of these are causing different diseases. Okay. Then under expression, so if some of these genes like TNF alpha over expression is causing this inflammatory bowel syndrome and under expression of TNF alpha is called SLE. SLA means systemic erythromatous lupus, which is the antibody against the uh, nucleoprotein complex TGF beta. So, under expression is also may cause disease. So, those who are normal, those who are normal, they everything is normal. Okay. So, those who have disease that means it can have either due to over expression or due to under expression clear or antigen presentation may have a some may have some problem. Antigen presentation not only this this is what these are the complement protein. Okay. So, complement protein can create problem AIRE knockout that we already discussed okay, that disease in human automatically genetic as well as if you knock out in mice that autoimmune regulatory thing that is the uh, transcription factors that can cause this disease. Signaling protein these are all different signaling proteins which is responsible for either B cell development or T cell development or in other different kind of signal transduction process they can cause disease okay, that is uh, skin rash. Similarly, co-stimulatory molecule, apoptosis inducing molecular apoptosis, regulatory molecule, T reg development function. If the T regulatory gene function proteins are not there, that means auto. I mean, they are basically controlling all the self-reacting T cells. By mistake, if anything happen, immediately T reg will suppress them. Don't do anything. Just telling them this is mine. The way I was saying, like any relative come, you don't know, but somebody from a, from your home came and recognize him and say, oh, okay, please come. So that is this T reg is saying that okay, don't do any harm. This is our own self. If T regulated function is disturbed, so lot of autoimmunity can happen. Okay. So these this way this study when it is 
done. Now, there is another way we can represent what is called it is called Manhattan plot what it is genome wide association studies. So, what is doing when you have sequence like this I, I was telling in the previous slide or these slides I am telling you the name and which gene is there. So, this is saying okay, I have one patient one sequence one thing and you uh, can tell okay, that may not be true because there are so many uh, different kind of population so many different kind of variations. So, same thing may not happen with somebody else. So, then to say in this is all I am talking about the bioinformatic analysis. So, um, when say gene analysis we are doing we can do individual level like 5, 10, 20 or we can do 1000. Okay. So, when we do genome wide association studies it is generally at least we do 1000 individual of uh, gene analysis and then we study the frequency. Suppose 1000 um, individual with this disease okay, with this disease Crohn's disease and see their genome profile. Now, on not only sequence not only DNA sequence okay, because DNA sequence cannot tell which genes are over expressing which gene are under expressing. What you would like to know there to see the gene expression we have to have the RNA sequence analysis. Okay. Now, there are a lot of nice sequencing techniques like next gen sequencing is there which can sequence you very quickly. Now, we use I mean uh, when we started like RNA expression analysis we used to have a different uh, CDN library and then northern blot which is very small scale thing. Okay, you can I mean you see you can count, but now we, we used to do real time PCR okay, just to see what is the copy number of that gene, but that is also individual level, but now RNA sequencing can tell you how many exactly how many copy of your gene of interest mRNA is there. So, if some mRNA is 10 and some mRNA is 100 you can always say that 100 is more. So, this is for two genes say so, gene 1 10 copy gene 2 100 copy I can say gene 2 is more active, but for gene 1 if I take two individuals say uh, person 1 and person 2 for gene 1 or gene x if person 1 is expressing 10 copy and person 2 is expressing 50 copy and this person is auto, uh, having autoimmune disease I can say that particular gene gene x may be responsible for that disease, but that this is a guess. Guess means that many thing else I, I may not think because there are uh, around 30,000 genes. So, one gene expression is over expression does not I cannot tell that okay, this gene is only responsible, but if I see that out of 100 people 75 percent people are having this gene is over expressed than the control or under expressed than the control then I can say this gene has certain role or association of the, with that disease. Okay. So, that is why I mean when you say genome wide analysis then we can see for this particular disease these are the different genes you see IL 23 ATG, ATG actually uh, the very good marker of autophagosome okay, ATG are the autophagosome. So, and then these different genes we do not have to see their num name or do not have to know all the functions, but the thing is you can see not I mean this there is a baseline is a dotted line at the baseline. Okay. So, this dotted line if you see baseline. So, most of the genes are here okay. and this bottom is in the chromosome number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 this 22 is a chromosome number. So, you can understand x and y chromosome is not included here particularly this is not uh, for this disease. So, you see in chromosome number 1 only one gene is over expressed in case of this disease, chromosome number 2 one gene, 4 there is no gene, many many chromosome there is not much, but some chromosome it is see this there are lot of hikes. Okay. That means, in this particular case this gene is over expressed okay. that is called genome wide. So, now I mean even if this data I mean without knowing any information about the disease if I know okay, disease x and this is the pattern and uh, picture showed me I can tell okay, for this disease x these genes are mostly responsible. So, this is the initiation. Now, what I will do I will knock out this gene I will over express gene I will uh, 
make some uh, find some inhibitor of these genes to develop a drug against that many things are there and that is where the uh, biotechnology or the uh, drug discovery is depending on or the research. This is the initial information that in this case this is happening okay. and I will just also inform you I, many of you may not know why it is called Manhattan plot because it is just like a sky uh, scapper in uh, New York City Manhattan like there are a lot of high rise building. So, it looks like that that is why it is called Manhattan plot. And this is this genomoid or GWAS, this is not only used for autoimmune disease, you can apply for any kind of gene analysis for any kind of genetic disease or um, any other disease or any other say development I would like to see cancer, this is very common now, because we have lot of information. Many genes that predispose to autoimmunity fail to categorize that effect one or more tolerance mechanism. What we can tell is that most of the gene that are found the responsibility of the disease, they are very common in immune system like CTLF4 you know what is that this is the negative regulator of T cells. If it is not there then uh, T cell will be continuously active. So, all this gene is listed in the uh, left uh, column or left most column is what it is responsible for immune system re general regulation okay. and if there is a failure that means autoimmunity that means self tolerance is broken. MAC gene also responsible, how MAC is responsible I will go quickly because you do not have to remember all this. So, these are the name of the disease okay. this, so this is the name of the disease. So, okay, these are the name of the disease this is the different HLA, HLA you know MHC in human I am reminding an HLA is a MHC in human we call human leukocyte antigen. So, this is the different HLA allele in MHC if you remember the MHC class or you can go back and check we have seen there are lot of variation in the different alleles and this is the link. So, suppose type 1 diabetes DQ2 and DQ8 HLA allele is there. So, wherever DQ2 and DQ8 is there, relative risk is 25 percent. Okay. Sex ratio that means male female is almost 1, so there is no variation, particularly this one. If you see the Graves disease, if somebody has DR3, that means more chance. Okay. What is the ratio? 4 to 5. That means if I say 4, or 5 that means 1 uh, there are 5 times more chance for the women. Okay. So, that means it is sex wise is also not all some most of many of them are 1 that means equal opportunity and many of them female are more prone to autoimmune disease. Okay. If you consider overall except this first one the all are uh, and this also all are male are more response I mean more prone to autoimmune disease. And this is the pie diagram, this is a healthy control again with the uh, MAC gene with um, autoimmune disease for diabetes, this is healthy control and this is diabetes. You see that DR3, DR3 is almost same, but wherever DR, this DR3 X means any other gene except DR3 and 4. So, you see this this one is not here at all. Okay. So, this DR3 allele if it is present or 4 allele in case of diabetes patient 39 percent cases it was found that HLA type having this is having diabetes. So, this indicate this indicate and in this in the control healthy control it is very little 2.5 percent. Okay. So, which can tell us like MHC or the HLA of a particular allele are responsible for this autoimmune diabetes. So, this is in other way saying that these autoimmune disease also have some genetic contribution. And it is found that in the 
peptide binding cleft there is a particular position called position 57 in normal individual it is aspartic acid okay but in case of uh, disease or the who has the disease in that case this aspartic acid is mutated and what is there it is valine serine or alanine so that means this particular position is also important so research is also done not only hla is important a particular point mutation is also important clear genetic variety variation that impair innate immune response is also responsible so whatever we said mostly autoimmune uh, disease is adaptive part autoimmunity in innate part is also in impossible what happened normally so this is the uh, intestinal lumen okay this is intestinal lumen where lots of varieties of commensal bacteria are there and they are um, doing uh, helping us but they immune system do not react with them because there are some dendritic cells that dendritic cells even if they get that they activate this T regulatory cells and these that we already discussed this T regulatory cells use anti inflammatory. So, T H 1 T H 17 cannot work you remember in the second lecture we discussed that right. So, T regulatory cell stop them okay. even they found this commensal bacteria is active, but somehow if it is this control is gone and some injury happened. So, that this bacteria which is supposed to say only in the elementary canal enter inside and taken by macrophage or some activated phagocytotic cell can take from outside inside you can see this. So, what happened this get activated. Okay, they get activated. So, T regulatory cell cannot do much then if it is activated it gives inhibitory effect to T regulatory cells and this which is normally not going to cause disease and they got continuous inflammation in the elementary canal and as a result we have will have a chronic inflammatory disease. Okay. An external event can also initiate immunity that I will quickly go through and cross three activity foreign molecules pathogen self antigen can lead to anti self response I am giving example and this is what what happens streptococcal cell wall when there is a streptococcus infection streptococcus cell wall is foreign antibody developed against it. Okay. So, this antibody developed against the streptococcal cell wall protein has some similarity with some protein present in heart see this is a molecular mimicry that cause so it is normal. So, infection is also important. So, it was normally fine. So, infection happened that infection produce some antibody or immune system produce some antibody against that infection and somehow the cell wall protein and some protein in heart are similar or has some similarity. So, this antibody because all blood will go through heart anyway. So, this will go and heart and binds there and cause some disease. And what is the disease? This is the rheumatoid fe rheumatic fever because heart will not function properly. Okay. So, that is also there are many other um, uh, infection which cause um, uh, this molecular mimicry and antibody raised against the infectious agent and that finds similarity with our own protein and create some problem that most of the time it is temporary, but it may be uh, chronic also. Okay. So, this is the summary I am just showing you for a minute. So, you can have stop it whatever I told so far about this uh, genetic information this is just summarized here. Okay. This is one and this is the other point. So, these are the thing which I already told in different way and this uh, and cause the disease drug and toxin also can cause autoimmune disease same way this is external. So, if you take a drug immune system will react against it produce antibody that will find similarity with our own protein. So, it can always even and random events may be required to initiation autoimmunity many things are not known okay. till uh, so this is the end of autoimmunity chapter and next lecture we are going to discuss transplantation till then see you thank you all.